All right. <laughs> All right. Unmuting. Uh, let's see. Boop. All right. Heavy machinery. <laughs> Heavy machine gun. Wrong game. Oh, geez, these stages. Really? Okay. Okay, I call BS on that one. Okay, so I can't... Never mind, I can't even jump on top of them. Oh, that's ugh. Gotta be careful of that one. That counts as a burning... And I got knocked over the side. What have I got? <gasps> Timed it. Ugg is gonna get a lot of uh, a lot of use with uh, all the puns that are made in there. <laughs> I chose that picture for Ugg because Lance just looks done with people's shit. Go. All right. Oh, <sighs> I'm surprised I made that. Oh, finally a checkpoint. Oh, wrong button. Third Tana token. Four, five, 
six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, eight. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Made it. I know what you were trying to doing. I, I know what you were trying to do. Screw you for it. <laughs> Screw me yourself, coward. <laughs> okay, I, I set myself up for that one. Yeah, you did. I even did the wink. <laughs> it was perfect. Ooh, dang it. Well, good thing the place where you get the third Tana token counts as a checkpoint. Ow. Okay, that's steam. Thought so, but wanted to be sure, I guess. Jump too early. And move too far back. And didn't jump far enough. Okay. Second embryo token. Uh, 
Yeah, so we had uh, Neocortex and Neobrio. Uh, I don't know if they Neobrio. ever revealed his full name. I think they just called him Enbrio. And then in the and of course we have later on. Later on we have Engin. Engin, yeah. Uh, I believe Engin shows up on the second game, actually. I know he does on the third. Excuse me. Do you a silly baby boy, Mr. Lance Baba Bo Baba Bo? I came. Hey, Coco. Dang it. Whoop. There we go. An even 60. Oof. How you call a guy with no Bobby and no noose? No Bobby noose? What? What? No. Are you trying to say baby nose? Are you trying to say body nose? I'm 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 a little confused here. Oh boy, power plant level. Ah crap. Apparently, I don't get it. Well, there's a checkpoint. What have we got? Uh, there we go. Whoop. Toxic waste. And I got dunked into said toxic waste. Uh, okay. What was I supposed to do there? There we go. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Damn it.
Yeah. I wasn't getting all the boxes on this run anyway. Generator room. Token, okay. Ooh, barely made that. And third Tona token. Oops. Ah. 
Danger, safety first, CEO, Pinstripe Pelli Paterati. I'm guessing that's the boss we're about to fight. Uh, I guess another level or two before that. Toxic Waste. Serpentine, acetane, benzene. He calls it the dip. Watch nobody get that reference. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, don't a token. So the whole thing about this level is basically we're playing uh, Donkey Kong. Just dodge all the barrels. Okay, I got around that actually. <laughs> the wrong button.
Let's see. Here we go. Fighting Pinstripe. Okay, I got the first hit on him, but... Such a naughty kitty cat. Now I'm stepping right into a trap, but like, I wonder where Lance learns his naughtiness from. Ah. Okay, so I can only really tag him in passing and I can't use and I can't really use the table for cover. I did get a couple of hits on him, so... Oops. Got him. All right. <sighs> Took me a few tries, but stage by the look of it.
Oops. Great start. Okay, right. Oh, come on. Up. Okay. All right, first on a token. Okay, I must have. Second Tana token. Whoop. There we go. Ah, here we go. Whew. Third Tana token. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now.
Ah. know where at least one of them are. Uh, that lunch was good. Uh, Slippery climb. No, it wasn't good. It, was, it had cheddar. Ah. Uh -huh. Whoops. There's an embryo token. Okay, yep. Oops. No. I swear, these staircases are like OSHA violation number 126 just in the past week. <laughs> Funny that you think that OSHA exists in that world. Well, to be fair, if it does, this is 
near freaking Australia where it probably wouldn't even apply. Oh, mad scientists throwing vials of explosives. Nope. Alright, rewind a bit. From the sound of it, I'm almost there. There it is! Third embryo token. I believe this takes you to a fight against Embryo himself. Uh, no. I must have been thinking of something else. Oh, Jesus. Yep, yeah, nope. Mm, come on. Uh, this is why I have save states. Not sure what that did, but <sighs> oh, that almost ended very badly. And I'm maxed out on lives now. Hey, that one I actually got a perfect. Ooh, got the red gem for that one. Oh, lights out. I'm already a little annoyed.
Yay! Bottomless pits and dark corridors! Ah, double checked myself. Evil wombats. I'll take it. I missed three boxes. Where would those boxes have been? All right. Jaws of Darkness. go. Lots of spinny platforms.
There we go. Uh, I don't have the blue gem, so I can't go that way. There we go. Third Tana token. Sixty five percent complete. Okay. Not doing too bad. How did I miss that many boxes? Oh, because of the blue gem path. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, castle machinery. Surprised I was able to thread the needle so easily. What have we got? 
Udo, dare I say, Booga. Ooh, that almost ended badly. Yeah. Ah, I picked a bad time to take my hand off the controls and scratch my nose. Uh, got a perfect on that one. Nitrous Brio. Okay, so that was his first name. Ah, 
Okay, and we get anywhere close to this guy. He just explodes us. Okay. Actually, I don't think I have to worry about anything here because I have like 98 lives. This is where he's going, Jekyll and Hyde. There we go. That was the last hit I needed to make. Alright, and then after that is the lab, which I assume this is the one where I would... Oh! Okay, yep. Now I remember. Oh, 
Uhuhu. Okay, third Tona token. Was able to do it a minute ago. There we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Not quite Willem scream, but... Come on.
Oof. And there we go. Got it perfect on that one. Ooh, got the yellow gem. The Great Hall. This is the one where if you have all the gems, I believe you get a bunch of bonuses, so... needed a yellow gem for. Uh, okay. The Great Gate needed a yellow gem, so... Okay, so I'm going to play around with safe states, make sure that I don't lose any quote-unquote lives at this point. <sighs> yellow gems.
All right. Higher up on the great gate. Ah, crap. Why would there be just, uh... Oh wait, hold on. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> okay. So there are a couple of bonus areas back there. Close to the end. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I missed one box that whole level. Alright, but at least I have an idea of what to do. So, let's see. Upstream. Upstream has a section that requires a yellow gem.
Oops, hold on. What have I got? Hello. Hey, Cookie. You guys are so dead. What do you mean? As in, you're so quiet, it's like you're dead. Yeah, I was kind of just into concentration mode. I'm trying to warm up after having gone for a walk in the snow. This weather will not stop me from getting my my steps in. <sighs> Stay healthy. You okay. must be so happy. I'm not. Uh, I got free. God damn it. You know what? I got freezing rain down here. Uh, I probably still would have taken that over the snow. Okay, I have the yellow gem, so why is it not... Huh? I am confused. Do you need me to take you to a Pokemon Center? What, me? No, uh, playing Crash Bandicoot. Oh. <coughs> Took me a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Are there any other needing yellow? No. Nope. Alright, Sunset Vista, I got the first key. Jaws of Darkness is the one with the second key. Alright, you know what? Let's take a look at the Great Hall. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, alternate route for lights out. I would need the purple gem. Okay, where do... Oh, no, I would need a yellow gem to get a purple gem. Okay. PS1 platformers. And they're evil wombats. Because it's Australia. Or Tasmania, or one of the islands in that area. Oh 
They should be more like a specific part of Australia. I would assume Tasmania or just in general one of the islands in that area. Aha! Yellow gem. Aha! Alternate route. And there's the perfect. And I get the purple gem for that. Alright. So this level is apparently called Fubbling in the Dark. <laughs> it's not letting me get to it? Or is that the level that I need two keys for? Uh. Great haul. I need more gems. I need a light. Okay. So let's see, I need the blue gem for Jaws of Darkness. Uh, slippery Climb, I got the red gem. Any of the ones that need red? Uh, Road to Nowhere needs red. Silver. Yeah. The Newfie went to a rescue. Newfie went to a rescue? Yep. Well, that's good to hear. <sighs> and my mom ran into a news thing involving someone having 25 dogs, and I'm just wondering oh my god, are some of those dogs the ones that got brought over to us? And even worse was reading about how one of the dogs was found dead. Oh, Jesus. So it's like, my gosh, I'm hoping that, that, that our group isn't from that. Let's see, and I think the Irish Setter Mix is getting adopted today. That's good to hear. Always good to hear puppies getting adopted. Uh -huh. All right, there's the red gem. All right. So, I posted a. We no. have a bunch of black and chocolate labs. So. And most of them are sick. Forrest, you were saying something? That was wrong, I guess. So. What are you guys' thoughts on uh, what I posted in the Pokemon channel? Like, the latest update to Urea, my uh, fan made region. Wait, who are you asking this to? Silver or me or both? Oh. Both. Dang it. Well, you're gonna have to give me a moment. 
because even though I'm voice chatting with you guys, I'm not exactly holding my phone right now. Gotcha. Fair enough. I'll, I'll read this out to you. The convergent evolution counterpart for Sandy Gas. Sandy Gas would be in the lower half of Urea. This snowy gas would be in the northern half and only in winter. Because Sandy Gas is a summer only Pokemon in the southern half. Hmm. Interesting idea. Yeah. Thank Dragon Quest for this idea because I was looking through Dragon Quest Monsters and I saw the Snow Mangler. I'm like, oh, that's an idea that could work with Pokemon. Okay, so what's the purpose of this platform? Oh, that's what it is. What have I got? Still working on the ice type Buneary though. Snow bunnies! Yeah, snow bunnies. Ah, I missed the jump. Alright, yep. Because the Buneary is gonna have a different evolution. It's not gonna be Lopany oh going the Galar route where the variants have like new evolutions. The problem is, I'm trying to think of what could be a good counterpart evolution for Lopini that isn't going into Furbate territory. Make us something real fucking hairy like the Angora Rabbit. <laughs> Just a particularly Ooh. floofy bunny. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe... Ice type Buneary into into ice fighting uh, evolution because it's big and floofy and angry. Yeah. Ooh, dang it, missed a jump. And it evol it'll evolve via the ice stone because obviously. Obviously. Ah. Well, I've got 95 lives. I've got 95 lives and a bitch ain't one. Bet nobody expected me to make a Jay-Z reference. What? You never heard of I've got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one? No. That was a song Pulling by Jay-Z? Pulling Gora. What? That's the name of this evolution. The Pulling Gora. Ooh. Well, well that's, there's your problem, Silver. I don't give a rat's ass about Jay-Z. You know what? Fair. Especially he these... Looks like a, he looks like a fucking bum. He... So, okay, I'm not gonna lie. He kinda does. Thoughts on the name Pulangora for the evolution for Uran Buneary? Pulangora? That's actually a pretty clever name. Yeah. <coughs> Pulangora is ice fighting. Which I actually realized, Freaking. I think this is the first, I think this is the first, this is the second ice fighting type uh, after Abominable. I don't think we've ever had any other Pokemon with that type combination. And they're both fluffy. Huh. And evolve from a pure type Pokemon. That also. Oops. Oh. 
That's it? That's... Oh! So that's what that was leading to. Okay. I was like, why did it just take me to the other side of the platform? And then I was like, oh... There is a kitten. I named it Minnow. And she was supposed to be adopted. But oh. I don't know what the fuck happened. And so... If anyone lives close to New Jersey, there's a kitten named Minnow that needs a home and she likes to jump on people the moment you open her cage. No. She's a cutie but... Oh, is, do I have to make the way back? Jeez. Yeah, it looks like I have to. <laughs> okay. I'll help Lover Boy get to home. Alright, so. And it's really windy where I am, so. Is it snowing? Not snowing, just windy as hell. Uh, up next is gonna be the fairy type drill bar. Hmm. Knockbur. Because if I remember right, there is a um, there is a fairy known as the Knocker that uh, used to hang around in mines. Yeah. So the Knocker. I don't think it's the same as the Knocknaria. I know what I'm looking for. Thank goodness for safe states. So now that I know what this red gem leads to... So, Uranian Drober to... Hey, how do you spell Noka? Ooh, right, nope. Uh... I think it's just, uh... I think it's just knocker as in door knocker because they had a thing for like uh, knocking against the rocks and they hated when you whistled or something like that. All right, all right, let me... Oh, geez, that's the radius. That is a big radius. Okay. Goblet 
Goblados. That's its evolved form. Your Range Rover is a Phaegon type that evolves into Goblados. Goblados? That's actually a pretty clever name. mental image of this big hairy like mole goblin with its nails that are drills <laughs> <laughs> this is also the first ever fairy ground type that type combination has never happened before oh shoot you're right it hasn't Yeah. Of course Laura says it's A tier. Laura loves fairy types. <laughs> Did you guys get to see what I posted in Pets and Animals? Uh, give me a second. Whoop. One. Ha. <laughs> Alright, Pets and Animals you said? C. Uh, ah, yes, the kitty. Not quite a perfect he, he likes to hide under blankets and stuff. His name is Zeus. Aww. Oh, come on. And Gobble nope. Gobble's signature move is a fairy type version of extra drill signature move, drill run, that I have dubbed Mystic Charge. Ooh. It's literally the same move, just I changed it to fairy type. to make. I still have that log otter that I need to make. All right. Uh, that looks like uh, perfect. Yep. I also have a Pure flying type woodpecker, and I have to make an and I have an osprey Pokemon. Those are why those are the other ones I have planned. All right, let's see. I still need to make a water grass otter. <laughs> Remy, do you have any ideas? Water grass otter? Yeah, an otter. Hmm. You're trying to think of a name for it or I'm trying to think of a name for it, yes. Hmm. A water grass otter. Log otter. It's specifically an otter that's been fused with a log. Oh, log otter. Um Maybe you can make a pun on right, Drift. And, and a ground type Toxel variant. Almost got all that one. Ground type Toxel? Mm. Yeah, but we're doing the otter first. I want, I want, I got those out of the way. I want to do some of the wholly unique ones. Uh, for the log otter, I'm thinking maybe make a pun on Driftwood.
Anyway, I have a question for you guys. Yeah? Because it just sounds familiar to me, but is there any character called B2? B2? Yes. Oh, yes, yes. In, um, I believe uh, in Platinum, he's called Proton. So what exactly is it? It's supposed to be a pun on the word for butt, uh, as I understand. No, oh, as in, like, the character. What is it exactly? I think, uh, if I remember right, he was one of the Team Galactic grunts. B-2? No, just B-2, one word. Okay, because for some reason, we got an owner surrender cat that for some fucking reason is named B-2, as in B-2, like, you know, hyphen. Uh, in that case, I don't know what kind of reference it would be to, then. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, I, I realized it as soon as I said it. <coughs> Flotsam Morden! That's its name. Flotsam Morden. Flotsam Morden. That can work. Flotsam Morden. Evolves into Otteraft. Ooh, that's a good name. All right, and uh, what's on this purple gem over here? Oh, hello. Ooh. Okay, this is cool. <coughs> I'm stuck in software setting on my game, trying to see if I can get either. Ruby Tatsubiri outbreak or a Zerua outbreak. And yes, I'm going to challenge myself to hunt for a shiny Zerua. Oop, nope, 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 nope. Dang it. I found the extra path as well, so... A signature move that is a water move with 70 power and a chance to confuse the target. Name uh, is undetermined right now because I can't think of a good pun. All right, what's what's the what's the effect again? Uh, it can it has a chance to confuse the target, and it's seven water move with 70 power. I know someone. I know someone who's going to absolutely love this Pokemon right off the bat because she loves Martins. <laughs> hmm. Uh, is there already a Pokemon move referencing Undertow? I don't know. Maybe. You've already thought of a move, but I just had an idea for another move since I mentioned that. What? Okay, so you know how a... 
you know how some moves like Surf, Dig, Phantom Force, or not Surf, Dive, I meant. Dive, Dig, Phantom Force, Fly. Uh, they involve the user to be invincible for a turn and then strike the next turn. Yeah. What, about a, what about a move where you force the opponent to do that? That would be interesting. That one would be un that one would be undertow. Yeah. And if I was sticking with the flotsam <laughs> jetsam kind of thing, then that would have been what I went with. But the flotsam evolves into a raft, so. Yeah, that would kind of counteract it. <laughs> I, I had to think of like a rafting pun. Yeah. <laughs> I am laughing to death, says, it's hard being a Digimon fan in a world ruled by Pokemon. <laughs> oh, trust me, I know. Uh, let's see. So, I don't need any... Uh, let's see. I have key one. Uh, I can go to Sunset Vis... Uh, wait. Mm. Okay. Blah, 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 dang it. Great start. Nope. Uh, rewinding back to the save state. Do 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 do. You can get the gem as long as you die before any checkpoints. Um. No, that's not how it works in this game. Uh. The way it works is you'd have to, um, the, the way it works in Crash Bandicoot 1 is that you have to get all the boxes in the stage and reach the end in one go. Uh, it has to be on one life. If it were any of the other uh, Crash Bandicoot games, yes, but the first game was pretty brutal in that aspect. I am trying to think. And remember, I'm playing the original. This isn't the Insane Trilogy version. So, Remy, uh, I get the thing you're gonna be using uh... Goblados on your uh, your Ray, on your Urayan team? Eh, possibly. Oh, I unlocked a new level, Whole Hog. Uh, I suppose I can try it and then I'll call it. Alright. Alright. It's gonna be another one of these levels. Yeah. Ah. Nope. Yeah. I've done it myself. Uh. Ah. appreciate that in the later games they that box lit yeah I do like that in the later games they tell you like how many boxes are in the level and how many of them you've broken too early
Okay, I'm lowering the power of the signature move because someone suggested that I do this. I'm lowering it to 55 power chains, confuse the target, and lock them. Oh, come path. on. That? So, this move, goes, this move goes from being uh, a confusing move to being basically one of the fangs, except it, instead of having a chance to flinch and inflict the status, has a chance to confuse the target and and trap and trap them in battle. Ah. Uh. But in return, it ha only has like 55 power. Broken as Oop. shit. Oh, come on. Mmm, that is like a pixel perfect jump. Wait, 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 inspiration has stopped. Inspiration, oop. Inspiration has stopped. Fairy type Venomoth based on a Venom based on the Lunamoth. Ooh, there's an idea. Wait. Wait. Ah, dang it. Okay. Wait, why make it a van? Fairy, fairy, bug, Luna Moth Pokemon. Jump too early. Okay, hit the checkpoint. It'd probably be an early game bug, because... What even? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Laura said, not make it better than about me. I plan to. I really like moths. So my bias may show a little. Ah. I am so glad I have safe states to work with. Wait, what? It's obviously... Oh no. Oh, I have a... I have a cruel... Cruel idea for a signature move. Okay, was that a perfect? Let's talk to the front of Japanese Luna Moth. That was a perfect. Ba -da -ba! Uh, well, <laughs> I've got a third of the gems, so. signature move. This is not a damaging move. It's a status move that inflicts multiple statuses. 
Ooh. Namely, confu confusion with either paralysis or sleep. Ooh, that sounds nasty. <laughs> Alright, uh... I guess, uh... I'll pick this up later on tonight. And a, sig and a signature ability that ignores... Ability that ignores status immunities. All right. Uh, <laughs> I think she's going mad with power. <laughs> Let's see. Uh. Ooh, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and raid Madame Wario, who is currently playing Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's just raid her with the default. <laughs> Nobody expects the Shinobi Inquisition. Uh... The Daddy Inquisition. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. I'll be streaming again later tonight. Uh... Sky streaming later on today, right? I believe so, yes. Okay, so... No, no, it's Tuesday. He's not. Oh, okay. Uh, in that case, my my evening stream will probably start at around 6.30 then. And the name of the move is Moonlit Curse. Ooh. <laughs> It'll turn anybody into a lunatic. Yeah, I basically made the anti-Godango. Godango is anti-status. This thing counters that. Oh, jeez. Because Godango has an ability that prevents it from being flicked with statuses. This has an ability that negates all status immunities. Ooh, yeah, that that would be that would be pretty nasty. <laughs> as Laura said, this Pokemon will be immediately banned. <laughs> and. I do not. I said, well, I don't care. I have a bias towards moths. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go ahead and raid. I will see you guys later.